Hello and welcome back to Cisco Next Generation Firewall in ASA in Amazon Web Services video series. My name is Anubhav Swami and in this video I will talk about Virtual Private Cloud Subnets Route Table and Internet Gateway. In Part 1, Part 2 and Part 3 I covered introduction, gave you overview of Cisco ASA, Cisco Next Generation Firewall and components of Amazon Web Services. Now in this video I will talk about how can you deploy your isolated environment within Amazon Web Services which is also known as uh, virtual private cloud and what are the various components within your VPC um, how can you create subnets how can you use route tables to route traffic uh, for internet connectivity you need internet gateway how can you create internet gateway and attach it to your virtual private cloud so uh, this is an important video um, so I, without wasting any time I'll just go ahead and log into my AWS dashboard and I'll show you step-by-step -step procedure for deploying VPC and other components related to virtual private cloud welcome back I'm now connected to my Amazon account and in order to create virtual private cloud or isolated environment I'll go to AWS services and look for virtual private cloud now once you are uh, in this screen you have option of creating your isolated environment by default you will see default VPC created uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, uh, click create and I'll give it a name I will give it a IP range as well and I'm going to use default instead of uh, dedicated tenancy and I don't need IPv6 uh, for this demo so I'll just use IPv4 now this uh, virtual private cloud is created you can see by default network access list or network ACL is associated is associated to this account there is a default route table as well um, this is the local range for this virtual private cloud next step is to create subnets inside your uh, your uh, virtual private cloud so I'll create four subnets just to start off I'll create outside subnet and this drop down menu I'll select my VPC name I'll put it in uh, availability zone 1a so I'm deploying everything in North uh, California and in North California I can see that there are two availability zone availability zone 1a and 1b so I'll uh, deploy everything in 1a for now and uh, in the later videos I will create other subnets in 1B as well so that I can show you load balancing across availability zone as well so um, this is our first subnet that we have created and this is outside subnet slash 24 subnet 200.0 slash 24 similarly I'll create outside inside so I'm going to put it in the same group same availability zone make sure that you select correct availability zone if you if you leave it at default option it can pick any of the availability zone maybe your subnet can go in 1a or 1b if you select no preference so I have created inside outside next step is to create management subnet for my backup devices I will create other subnets in 1b but for this demo I'll just use 1A for now I'll create diagnostic subnet as well because uh, some uh, some point in this video series I will deploy FTD and FTD requires uh, minimum four interfaces to boot and the first two interfaces are management and diagnostic and then we have data interfaces so I'll just uh, pick up one more subnet which is a, which is a diagnostics interface
now I have all the four subnets here and if you look at uh, first subnet you will see in detail what are the information associated to um, this subnet you have a route table associated you have network access list there is a uh, name of the VPC in which this route table uh, uh, or this subnet is located apart from that you can see the uh, routes in the route table network ACL what is allowed uh, right now uh, you can click on name tags uh, of for getting name of this particular subnet next step is to uh, talk about route table so I will go ahead and create a route table and I will associate that route table to my virtual private cloud so this is uh, how we generally create a route table just give it a name select virtual private cloud in which you want to deploy this and this is how it is created but if you look at this uh, subnet association is zero because I have not associated any of the subnets so these subnets are shown here in the route table but my route table is not associated to this subnet apart from that I only have local route I don't have any default route pointing to any external device or anywhere else so what I'll do is I'll go to move on to the next step and I will deploy internet gateway then it would be easier for you to understand the uh, route table functioning so I'll just give it a name as IGW or Internet Gateway by default when you create uh, IGW it is detached it is not attached to any virtual private cloud you just need to right click on it and select attached to VPC and then you can attach it once it is attached you will see that state is um, uh, shown as attached and it is uh, seen in green color uh, you can see to which you can see here to which virtual private cloud this uh, internet gateway is attached to and you can also get more information about ID of this device so if you just keep note of this ID um, uh, ACBA9 is the ID for this particular appliance now I can go back to route table add a route here I will say uh, default route for this route table is going to be my internet gateway which is ACBA9 which we saw in last uh, screen right so I'll just click save here so now my, my route table uh, has two entries first entry is the local route um, for local virtual private cloud traffic and second route is default route so any unknown traffic uh, within my virtual private cloud will hit this route table but till this point we have not associated this route table to any subnet if you look here um, there is no uh, subnet association so I can go to subnet association click edit and I can select into uh, subnets to which I want to associate this route table so I can check all the boxes click OK now uh, this route table is applied to all subnets within my virtual private cloud so it is applied to inside outside management DMZ apart from that uh, let's let's look at the um, association as well now you can see that my subnet is associated to four um, uh, sorry my route table is associated to four subnets uh, apart from that we have uh, elastic IP uh, so in next video when I will show you how to deploy a workload in public cloud I will show you how to allocate public IP address as well apart from that let's let's talk about a little bit about network ACL so this network ACL is already associated to my uh, virtual private cloud you can look at inbound and outbound rules apart from that we also have security groups so security groups uh, can be applied at NIC level so I'm going to create a security group as well security group for VPC and created so now my I also have a security group uh, in this uh, you can see by default all traffic is allowed uh, for outbound and there is no entry in inbound I can create I can use all traffic here and in source I can say 
this I'll go in click save so now I have added uh, another entry in the in in my inbound rules and for this demo I'm just keeping it loose I'm just saying uh, allow everything uh, and once uh, we are done with how to create workloads, how to uh, provision security appliances like ASA and next generation firewall, we'll cover VPN connections as well. Uh, so we have uh, customer gateway, virtual private gateway, and VPN connection. We will talk about these three options in detail um, in uh, upcoming videos. Uh, but in this video, just to um, summarize, we created isolated environment then we went inside created multiple subnets starting from outside inside diagnostic and management you can add multiple subnets to this uh, virtual private cloud then we went inside created route table but we never associated that route table to anything then I went inside created a um, created uh, internet gateway once internet gateway was created I attached it to um, my virtual private cloud and once it is created I went back inside my route table added a default route once default route was added I uh, I associated all variable to all subnets um, uh, and I also talked about a uh, little bit about elastic IP address uh, and what is the use of elastic IP address um, so I, I think in this video I covered almost uh, major topics using which you will deploy your network portion in Amazon Web Services and in the next video I will talk about deployment of a workload so your first workload inside Amazon Web Services and then we'll build up security on top of that uh, so um, with this I've reached uh, at the end of this video I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching